Welcome to Scramble Game Show. I'm your host, Dr. Wordman. The Scramble Game Show has been going on for more than a year now, and uh, our format used to be uh, inviting the children to come to the studio and play Scramble games. And of course, most children enjoy the Scramble word game, so every show we would include the Scramble word game, and we also introduce some new games. During this month, as school is starting, summer is over, uh, we would take a brief break, not having children come into the studio, because first of all, they are really busy getting ready to go back to school, and uh, there are lots of activities that uh, uh, families have to do before the school starts. So we will just introduce new games without having the children come into the studio to play the games. Now, in the past few weeks, we have introduced uh, scramble poker games, scramble mahjong games, etc. And today, we'd like to take this hour, in fact, to focus on the scramble puzzles. The scramble puzzles are a very interesting uh, game it based on the scramble principle. As you know, scramble game is based on the scrambling process of uh, scrambling word, uh, letters to make uh, words and make longer, longer words as you add letters and so on. And that process is the basis for all the scramble games. And we adopt all the interesting uh, games that people like to play and keep their features, but adding this learning process. Now, the scramble puzzle is another version of scramble games. Uh, there are many scramble puzzles already posted in the website. In fact, uh, uh, before I forget, let me uh, tell the audience about these scramble uh, puzzles uh, on the website. And you can go onto the website and play the uh, scramble puzzle. Okay? Now, the first site is at www.scramble.com, which is the scramble uh, game site, but with a slash, slash SIS puzzle homepage.html. Because these puzzles were created for Somers Intermediate School, as SIS stands for Somers Intermediate School. So SIS puzzle homepage dot html. From there, you will see the uh, scramble pages and how the scramble is played. But of course, sometimes you may not have access to the uh, uh, internet. And today, we're going to do that introduction. We'll explain to you how the scramble puzzles are played, and we'll use the studio facility to, to demonstrate that. That's one place. Now, the scramble puzzles have many, many versions. Actually, uh, in this uh, scramble uh, passport to scramble land book, describes several. Okay, uh, another version is uh, uh, also on the website. You can uh, visit the Somers Town uh, website, and that puzzle is to um, solve the uh, uh, familiar uh, phrases, okay? And that puzzle is on this site called uh, uh, at www.somersny.com, okay? And uh, slash puzzles, okay? Actually, uh, maybe the uh, uh, www.somersny.com slash default.htm is, is just as good, okay? Anyway, when you get to that town main page, you will see the scramble puzzle, and you click, and you'll get the puzzle, okay? So that's the two websites you can go to, and um, they will be refreshed with new puzzles as time goes on, okay? But today, let me use this time to introduce you uh, the concept of scramble puzzle and how it is played. Now, the first puzzle, we call it a pyramid puzzle, okay? As you can see on this board here, uh, 
you have a, a sort of pyramid structure represented by these white dots. Uh, imagine, okay, each white dot is a uh, alphabet, and then obvious now this uh, this pyramid puzzle is a three-letter word on top, five-letter word in the middle, seven-letter word on the bottom. And uh, in a puzzle, by definition, uh, creating a puzzle, you give a little bit of clue, and people would use the clue to solve the puzzle, right? So now, let me explain a little bit uh, how these uh, scramble puzzle can be uh, created. Actually, it's quite simple to create uh, a scramble puzzle. You can take the scramble card, for instance, any of the scramble card, and you grab a few in your hand. Now, these cards, let's say you pick five cards or seven cards, and you could make words out of them. And uh, sometimes you can make a lot of words out of them. Now, to create a puzzle, basically pick some number of cards and make a word. Let's say that's the word you want to be at the bottom, and then you can uh, construct shorter words within those letters you have on top and build a, a pyramid structure. Now you can decide how much clue you're going to use or give to the player uh, on each word. Maybe one letter, maybe two, maybe three, and however you, de you know, design it. Now, more clue, of course, is simpler for the players to, to solve the puzzle. Less clue is harder to solve the puzzle. So that's basically the uh, whole uh, principle of designing this pyramid puzzle. Now, the shorter word, the letters in the shorter word is always contained, of course, in the longer word underneath. Okay, that's the scrambling process. And when you play the scramble a word game, that's also is the way to build up longer, longer words. So that's the uh, basic. Okay, now, if to explain this uh, with real cards and so on in a studio, uh, it's actually not easy to, to see them uh, through TV. So what we have done is we created some uh, transparent uh, screen to show you uh, how this is done, okay? Let me uh, uh, now stand up and perhaps uh, use that screen uh, to explain this uh, puzzle to you. And you can uh, play with, you know, uh, with me in a sense when the screen will show up and we'll you know, play this uh, puzzle game together. All right? Let's first uh, come to this board, okay? Remember now, the puzzle basically is a pyramid structure, okay? Three, four, uh, three, five, seven, or, you know, two, three, five, eight, whatever. Uh, uh, you know, uh, sequence and depends on how you create words. And uh, certainly, uh, you could make these words to uh, to be sort of a, uh, connected into a phrase or meaningful phrase, and that would be an, another level of uh, thinking. And that's up to the creator to to design the puzzle. And uh, the player solving the puzzle would have to think hard and uh, how the clue comes up. Okay. Now, let me uh, first have uh, the first uh, screen, okay? Now, you see that's a screen right in front, okay? In this screen, basically, each square is for one alphabet. So this blank pyramid is a three by seven structure, okay? Now, if we want to design a puzzle, we will put uh, alphabet letters into a few squares and leave the others for the players to solve. And that's basically uh, the whole idea, right? Now, say uh, the three-letter word right here, okay? We will use the example to illustrate this, how the puzzle is designed. Let's have the next screen. Let's say that's the screen I created. I put two letter on the first one, C, okay, as you can see, C, A on the first line, okay? And 
oh, too bad I, I, I'm wearing a red shirt today and uh, it's a little bit uh, interfering with the letters, so let me stand over here a bit, okay? And the second row, I put N, okay, and C in the two squares here as a clue. And on the bottom, I put D, V, and E as clues on the third. Now, this selection, uh, sometimes you can do it almost random, but with a little thinking will make the game and uh, make the puzzle a little more interesting, okay? Uh, because uh, words are constructed with uh, uh, vowels and the, and the consonants, so you should choose the letters so that uh, vowels, consonants are, are properly selected, so the uh, thinking process of, of solving the puzzle is interesting. Uh, otherwise, you give it away too easy or make it too hard, and that's going to make the game sort of less interesting. All right. Now, so suppose this is the puzzle now. You can uh, see how we sort of solve this together. All right. Let me see. Uh, from the first row, you can see that the CA. Uh, Obviously, the example given here is to make it easy so that uh, uh, it's very easy to explain. Uh, normally, the puzzle may not give you su such easy uh, uh, sort of a clue, all right? CA can be what? CAB, CAD, okay? And uh, CA, EF, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, CAM is a word. C-A-N is a word, and so on, right? So that's how you think, well, what is this letter would be? So in your mind, you say, well, C-A, that letter probably is most likely consonant, okay? Uh, if it's a consonant, as we just mentioned, go through the mind, you have B, D, uh, uh, you know, M, N, and so on, what would be? Register, re register that in your head, that letter. But then you look at the second row. The second row gave you two letters, N and C. Okay? Now, C is the same as the C on the first row, so that most likely that is the C is used from the first row to come to the second row. Okay? Remember what we said? The shorter word is always, the letters are in the shorter words are always contained in the longer word, okay? So, C might be the same C, and it could be in the top on this three-letter word, or is a new letter. Since you have two new letters in addition to three letters on top, right? So, let's just take a, a guess. Say, all right, this N, this N here, uh, this N here is this, N on the first row, and we say that's N. That will be the letter N here will be can. Suddenly, can is a word. And we put N, C here. Now, once you did that, okay, you have N on the top. That word is assumed, say that's the word. Then you're thinking about hard, say, what is the word the second row, all right? The second row, what would be? And N and C, so must be a vowel at the end. It looks like that way, right? C ending with a vowel. And would it be an A? Would it be an E or O or I, a U? Most likely, let's say E, okay? N, C, E, and you have to use the A from the top, this A has to be used. So maybe A N C E or A something N C E. Then you can see A N C E. What would it be? We can start say A B C D. Count the letters and see. D looks like a dance could be a word. So let's see. We put a D there. Okay, that's dance, and that also sort of a, is consistent with the third row here, we already have the clues that D and V here, okay? But 
you must use A and C E of the rest of the letters. Ha! Huh. If A and C E have to be on a third row, what would be the third row the word would be? Let's think about it, okay? Could be A on the first box, or a, B, a, a in here, or here, or here, or here. Think about that. A, D, V actually is quite uh, common. So if we put A here, all right, then the, the rest of it, uh, C, E, okay, and C, E has to be somewhere, and C. Now, this actually at this point probably is pretty obvious, okay, so that's why I'm showing you now on the screen, that is the word advance. So this puzzle you have just solved is can, dance, and advance, okay? So that is a very simple uh, parameter puzzle. And we do this, uh, you know, put it on the website and uh, let people uh, work on this. In fact, think about this educational value for these kind of puzzles. Now imagine, let's say the school uh, post one puzzle a day, okay, and uh, on the website. And the children become you know, interested in solving this and because it's fun. You can do it over lunch. You can do it in any place. And uh, you can do it on a piece of paper, and certainly you can do it on the you know, internet on the website. Now, imagine if one puzzle a day, that is five puzzles a week, okay? Actually, one puzzle a day is maybe a little too simple. Maybe you can design a sheet which is five puzzles a day. And that would be, you know, five times, let's say, three is like 15 words a day. And if you select these vocabulary uh, roughly according to the vocabulary of, of the, uh, uh, the children's grade level, if the children uh, third grade, you would select the vocabulary from the third grade level, and fourth grade or fifth grade, and so on. And you would basically give the uh, uh, children a learning vehicle that they can absorb, okay? lots of words you know, per day. And over a year, imagine that, you would have picked up you know, hundreds and hundreds of words. Or you can review hundreds and hundreds of words you will learn and how to spell them and so on. So this really is quite a good learning vehicle. And it's fairly easy to create by teachers or by anybody and uh, just grab you know, from the scramble cards, a few letters, and put in your hand, and, and say, oh, look at that, what are words I can make. You can do it uh, forward from short to long, or long to short, either way. Uh, that's, you know, uh, not a really difficult task to create them. But the solving, the process of solving the puzzle, that can be challenging. And particularly if you uh, control the number of uh, clues, uh, make the clues less, then the uh, problem, uh, you know, the puzzle is harder to solve, okay? So, I hope this example, can, dance, advance in a pyramid structure, explained what the, you know, the puzzle, uh, scramble puzzle uh, is all about. Now, we will continue on and put on some uh, new puzzle, and let's work together, all right? Okay. Now, let's uh, have a, a new puzzle. That's the first example, okay? Here, that's the screen, okay? Uh, let's take a minute, look at it. The first word, three letter word, there are two clues, okay? A G and a T, the middle is not known, okay? And second row, again, is my shirt is, is blocking. Let's say you have R, A, T as a clue. Okay, two other letters uh, you need to figure out. And third, again, you have A, G, okay, T, 
S. We have three letters to, to solve. Okay? Again, we are emphasizing now, we try to get you interested and also tell you that you know, uh, it's, it's easy to create, but we also make the, sol uh, the solving part uh, relatively simple so that you don't get too frustrated in the beginning. As you go on, particularly you go on to the website and the puzzles go on, some puzzles can take quite a bit of time. Okay? Now, in this case, the first row, three-letter word, the vowels you can use, you think about that, right? has to be a vowel, G, either E or O or U. Okay? So, which one? Now, if you forget this, now, the second row, you need the two letters, and that two letters, one of them has to be G, because on the first row, this G and T, T is already appearing on the second, okay? So, G must be there, so you can already you know, tell, ha, hey, this is something with G, okay? And G either fit into the first box, GR something, AT, or fit in here, RGAT. RGAT, you quickly run through your, your brain from A to Z on the first box. Does that make any word? But if you put G in the first box, again, you run through quickly, A, B, C, D, E. It seems to me, at least for this puzzle created for the, say, third grade level, ah, great. Great is probably a possible solution. And E, then, of course, is in this get. So get and great makes the two uh, words uh, you know, as a possible solution. Now you look down, okay? Now you have A, G, T, S already there. Now what letters you must use? You can see, all right, this letters here you must use because it appeared on the second row, and the question mark means there's a new letter you must you know, uh, add. Now, this I think I'll leave it to the audience Think about it. If you are with children, uh, maybe you can uh, you know, work with the children and say, well, given now you have G-E-T and G-R-E-A-T, what will be this word that has these letters already known? Okay? And these hyphens means the letters you have to fill in. Well, let's think about it. I think most of you probably already have answers because it is very simple. And we made it quite simple by having a given a lot of clues, OK? All right, let's have the answer. Now, the answer is targets, OK? That's certainly the word. And it's, S is added at the end as a plural, OK? So you have get, great, and targets, okay? And the, the word uh, target is, of course, uh, again, these are uh, reasonable, uh, so, you know, selected as, as a third grade level uh, vocabulary, okay? Uh, when uh, I started uh, creating um, these uh, puzzles, I went through uh, the um, internet and doing some research to find out the vocabulary the so-called vocabulary set for different grades. For first grade, second grade, third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade, so on. And I you know, grouped them, uh, although they are not exactly the same. For example, uh, certain university, I mean, not sorry, university, certain schools and states, they have a standard set that is st uh, different from another uh, state. But they're not that much different, okay? So you could easily collect these um, vocabulary sets and use them as your reference, and then you create these puzzles. Okay. Now, here we just focus on the three, five, seven structure. The structure can be anything. It can be two, four, six, eight, and so on. 
And particularly, I want to point out, if you start out with two-letter words, it's very good to do that because in the dictionary, there's only, only 104 two-letter words. And that is because you know, people playing Scrabble and so on, and certain new words that are being you know, used and created, and it has grown to 104. Uh, years ago, actually less. It's less than 100. It's 90 some words. So it's a very finite number of words as two letter words. And when you play this kind of puzzle, you can easily okay, learn and remember these 100 two letter words. With that, start as your beginning puzzle on the pyramid tip and going down you can build your know, longer word vocabulary and so on and so forth okay now let me sit down uh, talk about uh, uh, this uh, whole uh, different uh, puzzles okay we'll continue uh, with more uh, games but let me first um, uh, say that uh, Puzzle, okay, is interesting because it, it challenges your brain to think, okay? And therefore, this is not only for children, it's also good for uh, senior people, particularly nowadays we know sometimes people worry about that uh, you'll have, uh, you know, sort of uh, uh, possibility to get the Alzheimer's disease type of uh, problems. And that usually is because the brains are not being used, okay? Sometimes uh, doctors will tell you, you know, play games, play, you know, uh, particular mental games will help you uh, in, in keep your brain in a healthy state. So these games uh, would also serve that purpose. And uh, so this website I just told you, uh, one is www.scramble.com, okay? And that main site, and you go to uh, slash sis puzzle homepage dot html, you'll get pages and pages of these puzzles. Okay? And uh, the town side, the Somers town side, has a puzzle uh, that is uh, more uh, uh, sort of for adults, and uh, uh, the words in the puzzle actually form a phrase or idioms so that uh, you have some meaning, okay? Now, uh, please don't go away, okay? We'll take a brief break, okay? And we'll come back with more puzzles. Welcome to the uh, Scramble Game Show. Uh, we have just uh, explained how the Scramble puzzles are created and uh, why they are created and uh, why it is uh, beneficial to uh, children and uh, uh, senior people to play these puzzles. And uh, as I explained before, uh, you simply uh, use these uh, scramble cards, which is alphabet cards, as your tool to do this. And it's easy to pick out of this card some letters, and then you think about words you want to make, and from that, deduce the scramble puzzle. Now, let's continue to play a couple of more puzzles because that way really is the only way to uh, show you how this game is played and uh, why it's uh, uh, interesting to uh, uh, children particularly. And you can certainly uh, solve these puzzles together as a family uh, or siblings together and so on, and, or in a classroom. And since we are putting these puzzles on the website uh, nowadays, uh, uh, schools uh, on their uh, smart board, uh, they